Hey guys, welcome to the Power Apps Cafe. My name is Anton Robbins and I am your Power Apps Chef of the day. Here at the Power Apps Cafe, we talk all things Power Apps related. We can talk connectors, we can talk best practices, but today we're going to talk about functions. And the two functions we're going to talk about today is RAND and char. Now, if you've never used these two functions before, let me give you a brief description of their behavior. So RAND basically returns uh, new values each time it's evaluated. And I think the reason they call it RAND is because the values they return are random. Um, so RAND, random. So that, that's how I remember um, what it does is it gives me random characters. Um, char, now char is pretty fun, right? Char is more of a translator. And what char does, it takes characters and translates um, codes from the ASCII table. I haven't used ASCII much, or actually, you know what? I probably use ASCII more than I think I have, um, but I never really paid attention to it. So we'll talk more about ASCII, um, and we'll talk more about uh, the, uh, the functions. Actually, let's talk about the functions now. So let's take a look at the Power Apps from the reference. So if we go in here, just type in char. It's gonna give me information on the function itself eventually when my is there we go so basically tells you how it's used syntax and some examples um rand is the same thing here so let's click on rand and it's going to give us the same information description um i, I like this right here it just kind of makes me smile right really okay um but we also have syntax and examples of how does how um, it can be used so let me show you how I use these two in the application that I've created. So this application is called the passcode generator. And basically the requirements behind this uh, application is the fact that we want to uh, generate passcodes um, with a length of three characters and as many as six characters. So I've got this little slider here. So if I slide to the right, I get six and I'll slide to the left. Now crisscross, sorry, a couple of take them back. Anyway, back to what I'm talking about. So, so <laughs> if we click generate, you see that each time you click it, it changes the uh, the passcode. Now, if I slide here, it's going to give me six characters. If I click here, it's going to give me something completely different, right? So cool. So now we see that this thing actually works. Let's take a look at, look at it underneath the hood and see how we're using um, rand and using char as well as a few other different um, functions. So here we have um, we have our layout, we have nice some headers, our slider. Um, we have here is a delay, but it's gonna provide, uh, it's gonna actually show uh, our passcode. And then we have a button. So let's start with the button first, right? So the button, um, I have my on select. I've made a few changes, because usually you go into a button on select says false. So in this case, I've um, created a collection um, by the name of password deeds. And for my collection, I have different columns. So we have a PWD one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the reason we have one through six is because we want to say, um, we want to provide as many as six characters and as, as, as low as three but you gotta have one before you get to three, right? Huh, anyway. So I am <laughs> including uh, Rand here. And so what I, what I wanna do is I want to have a random number between the numbers of 48 and 57. And the reason we chose the numbers 48 and 57 is because we know on the ASCII table that 48 and 57 renders numbers uh, zero through nine. So this is why we are looking for, uh, we're actually trying to say, give me a random number between the, this, this data set or this, this, this number range. So if I click the generate button, you see it's changing. So let's go and take a look at the collection. So here's our collection. So each time we click the button, our collection will provide new numbers. So let me just do it just one more time, just for giggles and smiles. So let's go back and say, 
last time here is 48. Pass column PWD1 is 48. So I'm going to go back here. And then I'm going to regenerate. And we should be somewhere in the 50s now. Yep, there is. So it's 53. So we know that each time we, we click this button, it's going to give us something new inside of our, um, our collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the information from our collection and we're going to wrap it um, in with char so it can go to our ASCII table and return numbers. So what I've done is I've created this nice little label and inside the label <clears throat> I've set it up to say your passcode is and then I add a switch. And if you've never used Switch before, Switch is, is really fun to, to work with because Switch allows you to um, evaluate something on the screen or it allows you to evaluate one thing. And if it equals, it's, you can tell it to do something, almost like an if statement to a certain degree. So in this case, we're saying um, our character slider value, if the value equals three, then go to our password deets and take PWD or pass, I call, I'll call it pass code or pass word, one, wrap it inside of the character, our char, and char go back and find what does that number equal and return it to us and concatenate all three together. So this is the same thing for two and same thing for three. If our value says four, it does the same thing and so on and so forth up until six, right? So, now, if I go in and play this, I'm going to click here again, and let's go look at the, the let's go take a look, so let's make it three, let's make it three, ooh, ooh. I got a little bit too happy there, didn't I? So, <laughs> let's make it three, right? So, in this case, three, we're looking at the numbers seven, six, and two. So let's take a look at ASCII and say, what should seven, six, and two, uh, what should the code be? So for seven, we should see 55. For six, we should see 54. And for two, we should see 50. Now, let's go back to our app and look at it in the design mode. And let's go to the, the where are we going? Yep, yeah, to the collection. Sorry, eyes get bad sometimes. So, as we said, seven should be 55, six should be 54, and two should be 50. So, yay, we know that everything actually pans out correctly and it's all pulling information back from the ASCII uh, table. So let's do a quick recap of what we talked about. Although it was very short and sweet, let's make sure that everyone understands what's kind of going on here. So in this application, we're using our slider and our slider itself allows us to move back and forth to identify how many characters we want to show. So here, slider value is five. We want five characters and we show five characters here. Each time we click the generate code is going to give us something completely different and that's because we're using rand and the numbers that are shown here that are coming back are from the ascii tables for our char so i hope that you all gathered some information or learned something new um, if you have any questions or any comments please feel free to um, leave feedback for me and like i tell everyone who has a great meal from my table Power, appetite. Have a nice day.